Guys, welcome to your love reading for Gemini. This is going to be for October 2023. You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. What are your blocks and challenges in love? Um, so, Gemini, we, we are going to take a look at that, okay? And then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the rules if you want. It could be a situation that, you know, you're dealing with someone that has these blocks and challenges. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Gemini people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too. And I do uh, do live readings on my Instagram page from time to time where I do one question readings for $20. If you guys are interested in that, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. The uh, notification bell is turned on so that you get notified when I do those. I usually make the announcement on the uh, YouTube community tab on, on my YouTube page. Okay, so Cancer. So I'm about Cancer here. Not Cancer, Gemini. I'm sorry, maybe you're dealing with a Cancer. It's like Gemini. Gemini. Um, what are Gemini's blocks and challenges in love? Oh, shoot. Hold on one sec. What are Cancer's blocks and challenges in love for October 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Gemini. Gemini. Okay, we have the two of wands. Um, could be a situation that there's indecision here, that th there's options here, maybe, Gemini. Yeah, maybe you have options. Maybe the person that you're dealing with has options. Could be a situation that someone you're dealing with doesn't really know what they want. Could be dealing with a water sign here. Like I said, this is Cancer energy. You might even have Cancer energy in your chart. Uh, I almost said Cancer, obviously, but Gemini, sorry. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe you're dealing with a Cancer here. And like I said, you might have Cancer in your chart also. You know, there's definitely a lot of stress and anxiety that you're dealing with here. Someone here has like um, some major self-confident issues or, you know, issues with their looks because someone here just, even though like someone here is, you know, maybe gorgeous or hot, you know, someone here just, just, doesn't, just doesn't feel that way. Okay, let's see what else we have here for Gemini. With the Ace of Cups here and the Eight of Swords. Mm. It could be a situation that there's options here, like I said. Um, you know, there could be a new option here. There could be someone that, you know, maybe from the past that you cannot stop thinking about that you're completely in love with, or that it could be a situation that maybe there's someone from the past and then there's someone new that you're in love with, or maybe you're both in love with both people and you can't stop thinking about these people. Um, or it could be the person that you're dealing with here that's like that. Um, tell me the two ones, whoever this person is, whoever I'm reading for here, I do get the sense that, you know, this person loves attention from a lot of different people, maybe needs validation from a lot of people here. Um, one of the blocks and challenges, I feel like maybe this stems from, you know, the unhealthy, unbalanced relationship here with a parent. Yeah, this is some sort of tra trauma. Yeah, this is some sort of childhood trauma or something like that. Could be a situation that, you know, maybe you grew up in a household where there was a single parent and this parents kept, you know, bringing home different people, like, consistently all the time. So I feel like this parent was always, like, seeing other people, dating other people, and I feel like this is, like, behavior that was picked up. I almost get the feeling that someone here you can't even know how, how to be single for a long time. Uh, someone here is always in constant need or needing to be with somebody here. Uh, if someone here doesn't feel like they're with somebody, you know, they just don't feel really good about themselves, okay? And I, I feel like a lot of this stems from self-love, whoever I'm reading for here. The Nine of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune, the Strength card, and the Judgment card. I feel like the universe is trying to get your attention. Yeah, trying to get your attention to maybe break a pattern that someone here has been in. Okay, with the Wheel of Fortune here and Judgment, Sagittarius energy. That could be some sort of maybe karma that you're cycling through here. Um, hold on one sec. Oh. Maybe some sort of karma that you're cycling through here, Gemini. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Ten of Swords. 
Eight of Swords. And the Hangman. Could it be a situation that your guides and your angels and your ancestors are asking to let something go here? Something that happened to you that was really painful, that's really affected how you deal with like romantic relationships. Okay. So yeah, there's something that you're still holding on to that you're not letting go of. Yeah. This is creating like a block. This is a creating a block where, you know, when you do step into a relationship, uh, you don't really enjoy it. Uh, because instead of enjoying it, enjoying the process here, you're already like have a wandering eye. Whoever I'm reading for here, like I said, this could be you, this could be somebody else. What else do we have for, for Gemini? What else does Gemini need to know, look out for, and work on for October 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Is there anyone new coming into Gemini's life? Maybe there is someone new that you're dealing with here already. I mean, that's Ace of Cups is a representation of new love here. But there's something that you're not letting go from the past here. With the King of Swords here and the Four of Cups, it's almost like someone here is looking for love but is not ready for love here. Uh, there's some sort of trauma. There's some sort of uh, trauma that's coming up where it's blocking someone from actually enjoying, uh, you know, uh, you know, their romantic relationship that they're in here, perhaps. With the Two of Cups here and the Ace of Wands. The Hierophant here and the Six of Wands. There's a situation here where I feel like you're in a very spiritual connection here, but I feel like someone here does not know what they want or what they're looking for here. This is an indication that someone here needs to ground themselves. Someone here needs to reconnect with themselves and align with themselves here. There's a, a, bit, a bit of misalignment here, okay? Uh, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Hierophant, Taurus, Energy. We have the Knight of Wands and the King of Swords, the Four of Cups here, and the Seven of Wands. Someone here is just extremely guarded. Very in and out energy here. Could be the person that you're dealing with. Very player like, doesn't really know what they want. Very defensive here when you catch them in something here. Just a little, uh, you know, I do feel like, you know, someone here just gets triggered really easily. Yeah. Uh, Page of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Ace of Wands, and the Hermit Virgo energy. I do feel like someone here needs to take some time out to the, for themselves to figure some stuff out. Yeah, it's almost like the universe is trying to get your attention here, or the universe is trying to, uh, you know, sort of like get you to sort of like break some something here, break a pattern here, um, look look within yourself, connect with a higher power, connect with your guides and your angels and your ancestors, so that you get the answers that you're looking for here. It's also important for you to meditate here too, uh, Gemini. Yeah, ground yourself. Because a lot of the behavior that it's being exhibited here, whoever I'm reading for here, um, it's there's a lack of grounding here. Yeah, there's a lack of grounding here. There's a lack of like doing things from like a from a higher self here, from a higher place. Yeah, it's almost like a fight or flight response, like survivor mode here almost. Yeah, it's like surviving, needing to feed off the adoration, admiration of other people here, you know. And it's kind of like affecting like the direct deep connection that you could have with somebody here or someone here could have with somebody. Okay. So Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.